Blender is a 3D and open source 3D computer graphics software tool used for creating animated films, visual effects, art, 3D printed models, motion graphics, interactive 3D applications, virtual reality, and also video games. But recently, they are not doing the video games anymore, but rest of it, they are still kind of a leader when it comes to open source 3D graphics. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a plugin which enables you to integrate Blender with natural language commands using OpenAI's GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. As you can see on your screen, this is a demo of this plugin with this Blender. And this is also openly available in um, the GitHub and I will put the link in the video's description. So what it is doing is it is generating Blender Python code from natural language commands. It is also integrated with Blender's UI for easy usage and it supports Blender version 3.1 and above. Installing it is fairly easy. So as you can see in the 3D view, open the sidebar, you can press capital N if not visible and locate the GPT-4 assistant tab, type a natural language command in the input, input field and then click the execute button to generate and execute the Blender Python code. And again, um, installation is very easy. You can, all you need to do is to just clone the repository in the GitHub and I will put the link of repository in video's description. Then open Blender, go to edit, preferences, add-ons, and then install. And when you say install, just select the downloaded zip file from the GitHub repo and click on install add-on. Enable the add-on by checking the checkbox next to GPT-4 Blender Assistant. Paste your OpenAI API key in the add-on preference menu. And then that's it. And if you want to view the code generations in real time, go to the menu option window and toggle system console. So that's all there is to it. Also, there is only one limitation uh, which you need to be aware of is that the generated code might not always be correct. In that case, you just run it again. That's it. Yeah, so fairly nifty, I would say. Um, if you haven't used it and if you are a frequent user of Blender, I would highly, highly recommend that you start playing with this tool. I hope that this was useful. If you have any comment, please put it in the comment section. Thank you.